All right, everyone, welcome to World 4, the Loop World. So, go to zero, I guess. Hmm. So, we are, uh, we are now dealing with how the edges of this loop around. So, the laser goes around this side. This is level zero um, of this ex excellent laser puzzle game with unbelievably bad graphics. Um, we can loop around... I don't know if we can ever change the orientation of stuff with this, though. Um, as cool as that could be, I don't think it's gonna. It's a real thing. How do I get something to, to reach that, seriously? Hmm. That doesn't work. Here, and at a weird angle? Oh my gosh, and, it, and it's blocked. No! Okay, so let's block the way there so we have the time. No! Okay, must have messed up and we actually intended to go like one below. Okay, do this. Oh, we're really blocking that. Okay, whatever, that worked. Okay, so now one. Now we got a regular pushable block. These cat blocks are just regular pushable blocks, but this one apparently has a red laser embedded in it. And to unembed something, we need to use the squish mechanic, I think. I'm not sure. Hmm. That is an up move, so it's technically potentially not wrong to do this move if we could if the process gets the embedded block out of there. Well, that's very unsatisfying, because we can't fire the laser anymore if it's blocked off while squishing. Um, when you squish, the pieces can just move off as long as they're on the grid. It... Okay. Hmm. Maybe our initial squish? No. Hmm. We need to activate that red somehow. You just don't see it. I guess that's why I've been using this so much. Maybe here, maybe. just sucks to have that cut off. We should instead probably cut off the this side instead, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's why. It, only, it can only work with looping. Look at that, that's beautiful. Hits the bottom side of itself, awesome. Alright, where's two? Two is over here. We gotta loop to the other side. Okay, so now, you got that gray block that is just passively moving to the left. And we need to block off... Uh, no, no. We need to activate all three of these colored things. So that means getting all of these merged together somehow. We can try to merge it like this. Um, you see that? I don't know what looping has to do with this. It's, it's because like the player counts as a wall at the end of the turn isn't getting pushed. But even with that idea, I just... It needs to somehow get all the midpoints in? That seems really hard. The order of these colors does not matter, I think. Okay, so that's interesting. If I press right at the same time that the squishing thing is moving left, that happens, and we squish uh, both, of, both sides in one turn simultaneously, which has not happened before. Despite that, I still think it's helping, because it's not the midpoint. I've even considered getting the black, like, over here, but it seems like we just don't have the turns to do that. But it is interesting, the idea that the, that the black, um, the arrow goes around here and could potentially do things while I'm moving over here. I mean, it's it's bound for, for one of these levels at least to have that happen, I just don't know how. For example, some sort of situation like this, where the squishing could help, but obviously we barely get the turns to do this. Hmm. I never thought that. Wait. That's weird. The black itself can be squished? This is not completely impossible. It's just really weird to think about, though. And. I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this. Like, this is obviously too late. Although it's interesting to do, like, that move. It's just too late. Hmm. Okay, but if you can squish the block, can you squish that too? Wow, that's cursed. Um, 
Okay, you can do that, I guess. Still looking for a point to doing so. I, honestly. Okay, can you do that and then undo the... Undo the red? Interesting. I guess we could. Hmm. But why? Is there, like, something I can do to... Get myself through in one way and... And get it out? Hmm. I guess if both red and blue were like this, that'd be really good, right? It just... I don't know how. Maybe... Just do it the standard way? No. Come on! Let me squish the... The blue and red together. Jeez. That way, like... The green can be, like, ignored a little bit? Oh my gosh. I feel like I messed up earlier. I don't know, maybe I need the green block... Earlier. Because, look, if you imagine the, the blue and the red, we could squish that upwards and then win. Without even messing with the green at all. Okay, squish it? Nope. No. Okay. Now what did I do? I, I did like this, right? Then I squish that together. I don't even know if the green was necessary, actually. Uh, whatever. Um, wait. I'm confused what I did. Oh my gosh. Like, I had the green somewhere garbage, and then this block. Turned on, and then it turned off. How did I turn it off? Right? Oh, n never mind. I just don't ever turn it off. Okay. Okay, whatever. That was... I over probably overcomplicated my thinking there, but there you go. What's 2-2? Two, two? Looks nothing like... Nothing like the previous level. Okay. Next level is 3, which we access this way. Wow, that's a lot of spikes. Oh, this is the desync level. Also, now we got... Now we got things that are bigger than uh, what they than you, what you would expect them to be. Don't know why this is like this though. I don't know what that helps. And this loops around. We got something over there. I don't know if like it, like do they turn back into a, a full rigid block if you got <coughs> everything in one piece? Hmm. Anyway. So that is what's powering the spikes, and we want to avoid that. Or avoid that or get the spikes to be in a different orientation. Okay, we got one of them off. Well, no, we didn't. We didn't really. That Okay. Looks like our goal is very much about... Wait, how do you even move this block? There's spikes on both sides. Huh. Okay, we can... Oh, that's cursed. Look at this. We can transfer... No. Wow. Gotta be, get wor gotta be worried about the fragile block, but... We could potentially transfer the... Ugh. Where, where's this fragile block going? Hmm. But yeah, my idea is to push these two blocks forward... Um, on looping onto the other side, and then we can maybe use that block to help with the situation. It's just now that I've accidentally seemed to have trapped the um, one of these blocks, or maybe that's just the maybe that was intentional. But yeah, you really gotta be good at visualizing how this goes. Oh, maybe the whole idea is to ignore the state of that block, huh? Hmm. No, there's no sense. You even get is th is this block on the left side just a red herring? Hmm. All I wanted to do was get try to get both of these big blocks on the other side. It's just the fragile thing doesn't seem to have a place right now, and it's constantly just getting in the way. Can't let either player die. Nope. Hold on. Does this work? Yes! Okay, good. That that shuffled the positions around, so now we can just do this, sacrifice the fragile block, and now we got a block on both sides, and we just uh, leave. There you go. Level 4. We're blocking a laser. It doesn't seem like a laser has any implications yet, but it does loop around. So we gotta activate both the red and the blue, because those were, those were needed. And then we got this weird shape, which is stuck 
because I guess the centers are walls. Do we have to come in an angle or something? This is so weird. I'm so tempted to want to squish here. It's unbelievable. Interesting. That got one ha one side through looping. Hmm. Still on the other side though. That's not what I wanted to see. I wonder why the bottom sections are there. But yeah, this idea is not working. Oh, you can actually get this off the wall in case you wanted to. It's just... This does not seem right. It feels like I gotta use a looping property, but I don't know how. Oh, wait! I think I see it. I, I think the entire solution just came into view. Um, we do, like, this as... As I was thinking before, which I failed to do in the last run, I do this, squish here, and then this squishes at the bottom of that. Okay, we need to find a place. Looks like a nice pyramid scheme. Um, squish that, that, uh, that was there for a sec. But anyway. Okay, I don't know where, where to put this, but I guess here is the best idea. And this will work, because the looping will get both of them active. Okay. So, we're... Oh my gosh. Love... Don't you just love when the level numbers are, like, ev strewn out everywhere, so you gotta go... If you want to do an order, you have to go all around. Anyway. Bunch of spikes. You can pause it there, or just keep moving it around. Hmm. What is Laser doing? And how do we not just die? We are fragile, but that we are the only fragile thing. Hmm. So we can go over here, then go to the right in order to get this off the wall. But now what? Is four blocks really enough to give me protection from squishing and all those axes? Axe. Anyway, so. Actually, if we could do a double move somehow, then we could get past the first with a double move and then press up to, uh, and then press up with our left and right sides covered. So we use two different methods in order to get through this thing. Okay, so I need to be squished in a three or a four. I don't know how exactly, though. Hmm. Okay, I can, I can do that, right? No, I don't know if this is a good idea. No, we don't come in soon enough. Hmm. Am I failing yet? Okay, maybe the other side? Oh my gosh, what am I doing so stupidly? I'm even like pressing left in order to idle, but maybe there's just no way to idle here. Um, I guess it's... Okay, other idea... Is that we need to do this. Okay, now we are um, split. And now we, we, we double move, right? I don't know. Problem is, to get a double move is exposing ourselves, which is incorrect. I think we need to squish ourselves just normally once more. Um, hmm. Alright, so, whatever. Okay. Move this up. And now, squish ourselves again. Okay, now we... No. Is this correct? We're not in, we're not centered to the laser anymore. So unless we do something like that, we are not getting our double move. Right, no, no, no. The reason that we're not getting our double move is because we've squished back into one complete piece again. Actually, if we got double move, we, we, didn't, we didn't even need to do any sort of... The... <laughs> okay. I I just realized, if we had double move, we don't even need to do the whole thing that I had wasted time theorizing about. Um, about one side being covered left to right and the other being pushed around. Nah. If we can do this double move, then everything is um, just instantly solved. Okay, but how? Hmm... Are we down there? No. Hmm. 
So did I mess up the position with the of the cat and the block? I guess so. I love how the, the undo speed is actually insanely fast and reasonable. I'm, like I know, like recently, puzzle games have had undo speeds that increase, you know, which as a normal feature. But for me, I've found them often still too slow. And this one, I've not. I don't have that complaint. Anyway, like, how the hell do I invert the cat? No, wait. No, wait, it was like this. Okay. There you go. It's like this. And now, do the same thing, but... Now this can, be, can point to the correct spot. There we go. Now we're double moving. Now we're here. Nope. Um, I think I actually undid too much, but I was in the correct parry earlier. Hmm. Okay, if we're not in the correct parody, then, I mean, it's still possible, I think. It's just a little awkward. Wait, wait, that worked out just well. Alright, alright, here we go. Okay, level 6. What the heck? Alright, we're, we're massively fragile. Um, hmm. Everything is fragile. How are we going to make a non-fragile part out of this? Now, um, it is interesting that the, the graphic of the Fragile is like this odd wave shape. And I do wonder if that, if that means something. I don't know, that seems like a bit of a stretch. But, like, the top right and the bottom left of the player character face is not as, like, destroyed as the other ones. Like, it doesn't have the white line around it, at least not in it. At least not one that's so obvious, so... I don't know. Hmm. Seriously, how are we gonna make any squishing or anything happen? Okay, that squish works. Interestingly enough. Okay, do we squish again? Is that the whole idea? I can't squish these parts. Hmm. Well, that's because the, the, the double mover wasn't the one that squished with it. It was the one doing the squishing. <laughs> So let's extend the reach like this. Okay. This is not working the way I thought it would. I'm hoping to squish the double mover into into the single mover. Okay, alternate or something. Can does this work? No. Seems like we're going to the same parity each time. Oh my gosh, this is getting so ridiculous. I just want to, like, move a bunch of spaces at a single time, and instead, I gotta deal with this. This wallpaper. My gosh. Nope. Just missing every boat, huh? Huh. Look at that. That seems like a good idea. Nice! We, get, we must have got it now, I swear. <laughs> That's more funny than the, the, than the solution, I think. You can just die at the same time you do a squish. Unbelievable. Anyway, we need to find something that makes this work. Quite possibly one that involves that. And then we still need another parody switch. Hmm... I don't want to see another level like this again, even though it's, it was really funny. Yes, okay. What the hell was that? Alright, so now we got to do a uh, seven... Hmm. Okay, I'm just doing stuff. Okay, so looks like we need an alternator of some sort. These need to be on at this stage and then off at the second stage how are we gonna do that i forgot how they the previous levels made their alternators but okay and then red is like available hmm okay hmm i can think of a simple alternator that does not involve any squishing but i don't know and the 
alter will ultimately have to also see red at some point. Hmm. Also, another annoyingly limited feeling environment as well. Can we set green to the side for now? And then we can deal with these blocks later. I want the blue probably to be at the middle right of the section. Like this. Oops. No, no squishing, I think. Not now. Okay. Then the green goes... Th no. Hmm. No, wait. We can get the green to move just by doing that. But not too far. Don't do too far. Huh. Something like that. Right? Some of the green is in a cursed spot, but... Nah. We'll probably just do this. Oh my gosh, no. Well, I'm the one who put it there, so I don't know what I'm saying no for. Let's the other side, maybe, and... And get this red out of the way. Seriously. It's in the opposite spot where I want it to be. Okay, just rotated some blocks. To get this here. And now we got an alternator, which is excellent. The only problem is, of course, that red hasn't moved a bit. And I hope that I can fix this just by squishing these together. Right? No. Well, no, never, that fixed it, I think. Alright, let's go. Okay, nothing too complicated about that. Let's go. Level 8, which is here. Okay. Hmm. How's this? I, fragile laser, we are also fragile. The fact that, like, the... <laughs> like, these orange slash red spikes are potentially modifiable with that piece of glass... Really gives a breaking wall is stop feeling or something like that. Or really, it's skulls defeat feeling. Anyway. Hmm. Can't get over there for some reason. Is this going to be a puzzle about trying to find a way to break parity? Okay. It, didn't, it wasn't a wall or anything that broke it, so. Okay. So that undid the... Undid the blue. Is there any more to deal with? Oh! Hmm. So I, I need to get on, on... I got over this side with a certain parity, which means I'm invulnerable to, to, uh, to this side now. But this has also come with the downside of now I need to get in here with a, par with a correct parity, which seems like an impossible combination. I don't know if this laser can even disrupt anything useful. But if I could get this out, that'd be kind of nice, right? Hmm. I don't know. So it kills me, so I want to swap parity, but how do I mess with the laser and stuff? Can't loop there. I have a feeling that maybe I need that I need the other block, so I'm not going to get rid of the blue fragile block. Instead, that's got to be used... Hmm. Is this... No. Okay, th that's a problem. We will immediately die when I do that. That's just how it works. Okay. Switch parity again. Nope. It's just how it works that I'm, if I'm pushing a block then it will just automatically be on the opposite parity of it. Okay, wait. Don't do this. Don't do this. Do this, and I hope that this will allow... No. That didn't mess with the block moving over and over at all. But I need to mess with it somehow. And I can't get, the, get that fragile block out of its uh, trash pile, I think. By that I mean I can't get the blue uh, fragile block out of its uh, out of its current box that it's in. 
Okay, I can't think of a way to interrupt the blue block, but I do have a really cool idea. Hope it works. So, look at this. Look at what just happened here. I put it there, but I'm not doing this with the intention of trying to move that block out, which is not really possible anyway, because that block is walled off completely, so it can't move. Um, it can't be moved by other things, but I press down where I have put a block there, so that makes me idle, which switches my parity, and there we go. Okay, nine. We got some more pluses. I believe those are anti-squish. Well, we have... Yeah, okay. It seems to function as if it was an anti-squish. Um, these symbols are weird, by the way. The fact that the, we have these different symbols for can't be moved and can't be squished, um... That, that seem like they could be just alternative walls. Not really sure about how that will go. But, anyway. No. Hmm. Okay, that's a thing. Interesting. The, the can't be squished one might be interesting to use. If it could help here. But there's no way I can get three blo Well, not necessarily three blocks. Okay. I don't like there's so many blocks, though. That feels intimidating. If I can try... Nope. Hmm. I'd like to try block... Um, the unsquishable... Oh my gosh, come on. Am I really getting stuck here? Trying to move these into position. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. The unsquishable. Get that off. Oh my gosh. How frustrating could this be? Just get a regular, an unsquishable, and then a regular again. So that nothing can squish and that passage is blocked. Okay. Now the big problem that I can see... Involves not really having the space to do this. Like, that's a that's a big issue. And I don't know what the other blocks are for. Do I need to, like, duplicate the... Okay, looks like maybe I'm using the other blocks in here to duplicate these. Um, to, to duplicate the feature of the red down arrow. Okay. Well, I can only hope it's that simple anyway. Okay, and now this goes here, up, up. Oh, the, the thing started moving. Ah, <laughs> it started moving because that's what that means. Oh well. Hmm. Even more cursed is if the red was used as a double move. That would be really cursed. Oh, look at that. Look at me moving. I, I press right and I move to the top right. And there's... <laughs> I press left and I move to the two spaces up. This is nuts. But anyway. Ah. I'm not... I'm not even gonna solve this. This is even crazy. Alright, how about this? Use the other block to make this configuration. Nope. Hmm... I was really hoping I could, like, fill in the empty space with this move, but times aren't working for that one. Hmm. Maybe I should just be fortunate that it is taking down its precedence over right there. Hmm. I've considered trying to move this uh, block into position using just the loop, so I press up to get that in, in a position. Um, now I guess the issue would be, how do you even get into there? Hmm. I don't know, I don't know about the down block, but this time I'm not splitting it. So, I'm putting that in some arbitrary spot. Okay. Okay. 
It looks good so far, but... Hold on, I just need to get... I think all I need now is to get the... Oh, no. Hmm. All I need now is to get the red off of here. But we have a limited time to do so. And we can't have that close. Which means we're kind of in a bad spot for where that red wants to be. Hmm. Oh, yes, yes, this is perfect. Okay, nice. Okay, last to do is 2-2. Two, two. Okay. So, those are, I guess, trying to squish, but that's not happening. Left is obviously taking precedence there. Okay, and we have an unsquishable regular block. I guess we're double moving again, and the unsquishable is helping with something, I guess. I mean, what, what else, what is the other interpretation, you know? I mean, it seems simple enough. Right, I forgot. You can do that. Maybe it's not so simple. You really think that's used, though? It's. I really do think we're just... Like, the solution probably isn't that hard. It's... Uh, hold on. If we're gonna do this, we should try to get as much range as possible to do something like that. Um, this sucks, actually. <laughs> um, basically, we, we want to squish in through thirds, right? Hmm, maybe that's not as easy as it looks. We need to squish ourselves in thirds and then merge them together to get double move. Hmm. We can also do that to keep it in. That seems like a bad idea. Oh, no, no, hold on. I've never really thought about that. I can press up and then I can be inside this enclosure. I've had bad luck with enclosures. Of buying SSD enclosures. Anyway. Hmm. It seems like it's like it's so easy to just fail at this and not even get it close to the center or like not have enough time like this but how do we get it in thirds i guess something else that i haven't thought about um that could be considered suspicious perhaps is that you can squish the spikes Still, not sure how that would help. Really? Okay. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, that'd be cool if we could actually squish it more than like with a single space. I. Oh, okay, you can do that too. Okay. Not. Do I think it helps? Probably not. I don't know. It's like there's some interaction with this that's probably trying to show. But I don't get it exactly. Can I switch myself between these two? Probably can. It's... <sighs> I just don't know how it's useful. Okay. But why? Sure, I can use that squish to get it out of the way. But what's, well, why did I do that for, though? This seems like, like a bad idea. I feel like I'm just going to want to undo. Hold on, is it simpler than I thought? Okay, I was really about to give up on this, but if you look at the this is something I did before, um, where you you notice I can't squish it because this side is like spiky, but that doesn't that mean I can just do this and then win? Okay, <laughs> I thought this level was trying to show some really complicated trick, but sure, I guess that's world four. Okay, where's the next one? It's five. And who knows what kind of trick that would be. Okay, so, also, I said this in the outro to so the last world video, but World 5, um, no, no, I mean, like, the the top of the screen, it shows, like, the uh, uh, previews of what the world's about. Like, the zero is the, is, uh, the tutorial, one is laser, two is spike, three is laser squish with spike, and four has a looping, but... The player is also so they just can go loop across the screen. Anyway, goodbye. Ugh. I'm really looking forward to what else they might have planned. It's pretty crazy.